Last few years, I mean, the goal when I came onto the team was sort of, you know, to use this as a way to boost my, you know, triathlon performance. And because of COVID, the last few years, it, it hasn't happened because um, of, of the bubble. You know, I haven't been allowed to just go outside and go for a swim, go to the gym, do things because you have to keep everyone safe. You know, and so it's meant that I've had weeks at a time where I can't train. You know, so I've spent probably the last three years trying to stay at the same level, which I think I've able, managed to do. But the team's been incredibly supportive and said this year, look, you know, let's really go all in on this and. You know, you, you to sort of guide us of, of what you need to do to make yourself be the best you can possibly be in triathlon. Obviously, they respect that I'm a professional, that I know that I need to do my job for the team. So I'm never doing anything that's going to jeopardize, you know, being in the condition I need to be to do my role. Um, but yeah, it's, it's great. I mean, the other day after the climbing stage, I think I spent four hours on the front, literally, of the peloton, um, basically alone for three, three hours. You just let me know when you want to rest. <laughs> I just need one to you. And then, you know, the, it's sort of like you make the hard days hard. So actually when I got home after that day, I did 8K a run as well, you know, when my legs were quite sore just to really, you know, because in an Ironman, you finish the bike leg and, you know, it's not easy. And then you've got to run a marathon. So reminding your body of, uh, of um, you know, what it like to run under fatigue, it's, it's a great opportunity to do that at races. You know, the, the big thing we've learned is you have to obviously respect the race. You know, you're racing at the world too, you're racing at the highest level of competition. So the fitness boost you get from that is significant. So the other running and the swimming, it's more a case of just the, the motor pattern. You know, making sure that I keep feel for the water, I, I keep some impact on the legs for the running. You know, not taking any extra fatigue. You know, the runs are all quite easy. I'll run around probably 50 kilometers. I've swam three times, so I've probably done around 10K of swimming. I'll do a harder run tomorrow after the stage when the race finishes, of course, because uh, we've got another very hard stage and also it's an opportunity to have a week of loading in the legs and then, you know, do a good hard run, which is, you know, which is again conditioning for Ironman for, you know, hopefully what I, you know, would like to have the most successful season I've had in triathlon this year and, um, and amongst that, you know, be even better and a better support to the guys on the road and, uh, and get some more great results. You know, it's been great the last few years, but you always want to get better. Every year's been better and I want this year to be better. And, um, you know, we're off to a great start here. So, uh, yeah, so I'm excited about the year ahead.